The Johnny and Amber case still has a long way to go, but we may already be seeing a light that favors Johnny Depp. So far, Amber has been receiving even more backlash than before, especially now that more evidence has been surfacing about the truth, including a recorded tape where Amber admitted to hitting Johnny, and the false claim of her camp about the makeup she used to cover her injuries from Johnny Depp's maltreatment. So, with all these going on and with Amber's camp getting a little behind, one question lingers. Could Amber Heard's lawyer quit after intense arguments in court? We'll take a look at that and more in today's video. But first, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and smash that notification bell for more updates on this. Now, let's dive in. The lawsuit that has engulfed the entire United States and even the world is where Johnny Depp has sued his ex-wife Amber Heard for $50 million, accusing her of defamation over an article published in the Washington Post by the Aquaman Star, in which she claimed she was a victim of domestic maltreatment during their marriage. The litigation has taken several twists and turns, the most recent of which being the rumor that Heard's lead attorney, Elaine Braidhoft, had quit after the actress was caught in a falsehood in which she claimed she used cosmetics to cover up her wounds. The report of Bredhoff's departure, on the other hand, is a strange one. It is well known that the lawyer is completely focused on winning the case and is devising the best ways to avoid the defamation claims made by Depp. During last week's hearing, Heard claimed that she has used a Milani Cosmetics product to go to work and avoid having to show the horrific injuries that her then-husband had given her. The reason that this argument has been proven to be false is that the Milani brand's all-in-one kit was not released to the market until 2017, and the injuries that Heard had allegedly covered should have occurred between 2012 and 2016. As revealed in a video posted on the cosmetics brand's TikTok account, a beauty firm has questioned Amber Heard's allegations against Johnny Depp, claiming that the concealer kit she claimed she used every day to cover the marks left by his actions didn't exist until a year after they split. Heard's legal team claimed throughout the trial that the actress used Milani's all-in-one correcting kit to conceal her alleged injuries from her ex-husband. The actress's lawyer, Elaine Bredhoft, stated that she kept the makeup product in her purse at all times so that her marks were not visible to the public. The concealer palette, which is no longer available on the company's website but is available for $25 on a resale site, was also shown to the jurors by Heard's counsel. However, Milani Cosmetics is now claiming that the lotion that the Aquaman star claimed helped her hide her scars wasn't launched until after she and Deb broke up. In a now viral TikTok video, Milani appeared to refute these charges, stating that the firm didn't offer the concealer until 2017. But the alleged actions occurred between 2012 and 2016. The brand didn't say whether pre-release samples were available. On another note, Amber Heard's lawyers are focused on Johnny Depp's text. Let's burn Amber. Amber Heard's lawyers spent hours in court on Thursday trying to discredit Johnny Depp's libel lawsuit against her by focusing on the actor's troubled history and texts he wrote to friends, including one about wanting to really hurt his ex-wife. Depp's lawyer cited Depp's habit of destroying hotel rooms and slamming a bathroom sconce after an altercation with Heard. In addition, Depp is being sued by a member of a film crew who claims he was maltreated in 2018. The lawyers are attempting to stop Depp from filing a libel action against Heard, alleging that she falsely represented him as a bad human being, causing him to lose his lucrative acting career. They contend that Depp did in fact hurt Heard, and that Depp cannot deny it because he was frequently not himself to the point of blacking out. I, of course, pounded and displayed ugly colors to Amber on a recent journey, Depp said in a text message to a friend, the actor Paul Bettany, in July 2013, which was shown to jurors. I am an insane person and not so fair-headed. After too much of the drink, Depp continued, my capacity is too large that I won't stop. Ugly and sad. Oh, how I love it. Heard's lawyer, J. Benjamin Roddenborn, also focused on another exchange that year between Depp and Bettany, in which Depp wrote something about Amber Heard. Bettany responded, Having thought it through, I don't think we should burn Amber. 
Depp texted back disagreeing. Depp has previously apologized to the jury for the words used in the text and said that in the heat of the pain I was feeling, I went to dark places. The jury was also shown one of Depp's texts to Bettany in 2014, in which he mentioned his prior questionable actions. The texts were sent during a time when Depp said he was no longer drinking. They were also received around the time of a private flight from Boston to Los Angeles, during which Heard claimed Depp hurt her after blacking out. Depp had previously testified that he locked himself in a plane lavatory with two tablets, something to which he admits he was hooked at the time, and fell asleep to avoid her badgering. He also denies not being sober on the flight, claiming that he only drank one drink before boarding. Roddenborn, on the other hand, showed the jury Depp's regret after the flight. Once again, I find myself in a place of shame and regret. Depp wrote to her, of course, I am sorry. I really don't know why or what happened, but I will never do it again. My illness somehow crept up and grabbed me. I must get better, and I will, for both of us. Starting today, I love you, again. I am so sorry, so sorry. Depp also wrote a letter to Hurd's father in which he admitted that he messed up and went too far. In a confrontation with Hurd, on the other hand, Depp stated on the stand that the message did not indicate that the fight was intense. The court heard multiple audio recordings of the couple's talks. In one, Hurd admitted to Depp that he threw up in his sleep. Depp appears to have indicated that he had headbutted Hurd in another conversation. I was using the words that Miss Hurd was using. Depp countered. But there was not an intentional headbutt. And if you want to have a peaceful conversation with Miss Hurd, you might have to placate just a little bit. Since Tuesday afternoon, Depp has been on the stand in Fairfax County Circuit Court. Much of that time had been spent by the actor explaining the couple's tumultuous relationship and denying that he ever harmed Hurd. Hurd frequently harassed Depp. According to Depp, he also claimed that his film career suffered as a result of her op-ed essay in the Washington Post in 2018, which spurred his libel complaints against her. Although Hurd did not mention Depp by name in the piece, Depp's lawyer said it was an obvious reference to allegations Hurd made when she filed a restraining order against him in 2016. Depp said that the allegations and the story contributed to the unfairly tarnished reputation which led to him becoming a Hollywood outcast and costing him a role in the lucrative Pirates of the Caribbean film trilogy. When Roddenborn began cross-examination on Wednesday, he cited proof indicating Disney made the choice months before the article was published. Depp's reputation had been tarnished, according to her counsel, as a result of his own terrible behavior. Meanwhile, as his testimony in the Amber Heard defamation trial comes to a close, Johnny admits he was broken. Depp has previously stated that he has never truly harmed Heard or any other woman. He has claimed that Heard was a catalyst in their relationship, pushing him to get into crazy arguments. He also claimed that during their relationship, Heard hit, kicked, and flung objects at him. Depp said that he never intended for his marriage to end the way it did, with both he and Heard embroiled in a public divorce and legal battle. No one, not her, not me, not anyone, deserves to live like that, he stated. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more episodes.